or similarly in PLOS Politics International Women's Day Special. Women from eight countries participated in the live conversation advocating better policies for women in media, academia, business and politics. Zimbabwean TV host Vimbai Montehiri Egbenyong spoke on setting boundaries and Ghana's Atewin Mbila Lawson advocated better pay for women in the media. You know, what we need to do with ourselves um, as, um, as a, you know, a community of women in media and women in journalism is to encourage each other to build up our boundaries. In my personal experience, I have found that you know, having a certain demeanor, having certain boundaries, being, uh, you know, you often have to be a little bit more extra in creating that distance than your male counterparts, but it's necessary. I think also with that, um, an important matter to look at is um, how much women are paid in the industry. Because a lot of the time you find that a lot of women are underpaid and it's a very serious problem. It's not an excuse, you know. Because I was about to ask if that's an excuse. Uh, it's, it's not an excuse at all. However, that is the fact as it is. Women are highly... United States public relations expert and adjunct professor Claudine Moore spoke about dealing with being black and being a woman in a male-dominated industry. Um, navigating PR as a as a black woman in America, it's definitely been challenging. But like with any challenge, you go around it, you go over it, you go underneath it, you push it to one side, you just get on with it. I think the one thing that you know, um, and again, it all comes down to mindset. Uh, I was always brought up to understand that as a black woman, so those two things, as a woman and as a black woman, I'm just going to have to do twice as much as my counterparts. It's not fair, it's not okay, but it is what it is. And joining us on PLOS News Now to discuss some of these issues that concern women is Victoria Ibezim O'Hari, Executive Director of Spaces for Change, Lagos. Many thanks for joining us on PLOS News Now. Good evening, viewers. All right, let's just get straight to it now. The theme for this year's commemoration is hashtag choose to challenge. So what choices are women are challenging or seeking to change? What is very unique about this year's theme, choose to challenge, is that uh, is it flexibility. So flexible that it allows women in all contexts to challenge any issue of significance in their local environment or in their local context. So today around Lagos, many women across sectors, both public and private sector, across industries, across different communities, converge to challenge specific issues that matter to them. Um, our spaces for change today, we um, will convert together with women working in the informal sector and living in informal communities to challenge urban poverty and inequality in the informal sector. Many groups also came together to challenge gender-based violence. Some we are challenging women's underrepresentation in political um, political office. Some were challenging the violation of the environment and the particularly disproportionate burden it places on women. Some were challenging access to economic and social opportunities, particularly access to employment. So it depends on what matters to specific women or in specific sectors. But women arose across the country in one voice, choosing to challenge an issue that has held women down for too long. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.